Hey, this is Sean from the product team here at Soundcraft. You're watching our how-to video series for SI consoles. In this video, we're going to talk about our one-touch easy mixing system, for as we call it, Totem. All SI consoles have this simple way of mixing to monitors. We can create a monitor mix for a musician by pushing up faders rather than turning knobs. Now, we'll show you how. Here we have the band playing. The channels are labeled and everything is EQ'd to my satisfaction. Now it's time to send some mixes to the band members so that they can hear each other. I have three monitors on stage, one for the singer, one for the rhythm section, and one for the drummer. I'm going to start with the drummer's wedge as it's plugged into output one of my console. Now if I press this mix one key, the faders flip to the bottom of their travel. The fader glow is lighting yellow, and if I listen to my headphones, they are now silent. This is because Totem solos that mix bus so you can hear what you're mixing to it. I'm now within my drummer's mix, and the fader levels are now adjusting how much signal is sent to that monitor wedge. Now my drummer's going to want to hear his kick drum to fill the sound out a bit. He's also going to want to hear the bass so they can keep a groove. He wants to hear some rock and guitar. And most importantly, he wants to hear the vocalist so he knows where he is in the song. You'll notice this fader at the far end of the console is also lit up yellow. This is our mix master or aux master. This controls the master level of the monitor wedge and can also be found here on layer C of the console. Now I'm going to tackle my vocalist's monitor mix. This is usually the most complicated mix to do, as the vocalist is really only going to want to hear himself and not much drums or guitars as they're blaring behind him. So we're going to enter mix three. We're going to give our vocalist a little bit of himself. And that's it. Now, on the master mix, I also have some lexicon reverb and delay going in effects one and effects two. So we're going to want to add some of that in his monitor mix as well, give him some inspiration. So again, we're on layer B, and the last four faders are the effect sends. So we're gonna add some reverb, and we're gonna add some delay. And there you have it. As you can see, mixing input channels and effects to monitors is really simple. With the same principle, you can also mix stereo inputs as well. It's really as simple as turning up the right fader in the right mix. Thanks for watching this edition of SI Series How-To Videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or check back for more updates. Until next time.